Hey guys, and welcome to a new video. Week 2 predictions. Now, I got this shovel here because I need to go bury something. The Cardinals' hopes of making the playoffs this year. And just they lost David Johnson for pretty much the whole year, so yeah gonna be bearing the Cardinals hopes and dreams this year but I'm gonna go put that down um but yeah it is a sad sad time in Arizona right now and also a sad time for fantasy owners cuz David Johnson is a good fantasy monster and you lost him for pretty much the whole year so yeah doesn't feel too good but anyway, that's not all that happened in the NFL, and sorry if I don't sound that good, I'm kind of sick, but gotta get these predictions out to you on time, so yeah. Um, so last week I went 9-6, and six, which puts my season total at 9-6. and six. And 9-6, and, and it's not great, but I'm happy with it. I mean, it's definitely above average. But wow, wow. The games I got wrong, I really got wrong. Like, Patriots losing to the Chiefs badly on Thursday Night Football last week. Wow, who saw that coming? Yeah, the cover curse is real. Um, Yeah, so I lost... My lock last week against the Colts. God, why would I do that? Why would I pick the Colts as my lock of the week when I knew good and well that they didn't have Andrew Luck? God, that's just me running my mouth again, being so dumb. Yeah, 46-9. to nine. When you let the Rams, the worst offense in football, score 46 points, you are terrible. Um, but yeah, Falcons almost lost to Bears. Lions once again with the fourth quarter comeback. Um, yeah, and Jaguars absolutely murdering the Texans last week. Um, yeah, who saw that coming? And finally, the one that's most near and dear to my heart, Giants-Cowboys. To all those Giants fans who said that they're going to win this game, I want you to hear the score. 19-3. Dallas winning. Oh, wow. Just goes to show you how much they need Odo Beckham Jr. But that defense, though. That defense was playing like garbage. Eli Manning was playing like garbage. Um... Yeah, but I'm just so happy to see the Giants lose to the Cowboys. They scored three points, but, you know, Eli Manning scoring three points is quite fitting because it's kind of how many completions he gets per game. So yeah, that's about all I got to say for the recap, so let's move on to week two, where there are no teams on by, so every team is here. Texans Bengals, which is going to be Thursday night football. And really, who honestly gives a shit? Like, I don't. It is my crap game of the week, and for good reason. Wow. Like, I'm embarrassed for both these teams after their performance in week one. But the Texans are starting Deshaun Watson. Um, he threw a touchdown last time. Got the Texans' only touchdown. But he also threw a pick. But Andy Dalton also threw many picks. So I don't know who to go with here. I'm just going to go with the Bengals. Just because this one's kind of a biased pick. Because I have AJ Green on my fantasy. And I want him to do well. Hopefully Andy Dalton knows that it's not preseason anymore and 
you know, gets his head in the game, you know? Dolphins Chargers. So this is the Dolphins' first game of the season. Uh, wow, the Chargers, they're a good team. They're going to be a good team this year. I don't know if they'll make the playoffs, but they'll be a good team. And the Dolphins... No, no. But I'm, I apologize to Dolphins fans for what happened to Ryan Tannehill. You gotta have Jay Cutler as your starting quarterback. So I'm going with the Chargers. Titans-Jaguars. I am going to go with an upset here. The Jaguars are gonna win it. Their defense was filthy against the Texans. And I mean filthy. So I'm pretty sure they'll be able to shut down that offense. Jets Raiders. Obviously the Jets because you know the it's not like the Raiders are are a playoff worthy team and the Jets they have nothing. Yeah, like Jets totally win here. Now I'm going with the Raiders and this is about as close to a lock as you can get. But it's not my lock. Um Cleveland, Baltimore. I'm going to go with Baltimore. Cowboys, Broncos. Now, the Broncos, they almost lost to the Chargers on Monday night. And that was in Denver. Almost losing to the Chargers. Like, I'm, I'm not sure how that defense is going to respond to the Cowboys. Um, so I'm going to go with the Cowboys on this one. But you already knew who I was going to pick. Eagles Chiefs, now this is my lock of the week. And not just because I hate the Eagles, but because... Did... Go watch the Chiefs highlights against the Patriots last week. Alex Smith was playing like a god. Like, like a good quarterback. Like an MVP. And Kareem Hunt is just amazing. Um... Yeah, so I'm going with the Chiefs. Cardinals, Colts, oh my god. This is going to be a garbage game too. The Cardinals without David Johnson and the Colts without Andrew Luck. You know, I may have said that the Cardinals season was over, but after seeing what the Colts did last week, I'm not picking them. Cardinals for the win. Buffalo, Carolina, nobody really cares about this game. Going to go with Carolina though, just because it's in Carolina. New England, New Orleans. Tom Brady's angry. He's going to storm to New Orleans and tear him to shreds. Vikings, Steelers. Now, this is weird, but this is my game of the week. Just because the Vikings, they played a great game against the Saints, and the Pittsburgh Steelers, you know, they're a good offense. But I'm going to have to go with Pittsburgh here. Bears, Buccaneers. Wow, so many games this week that nobody cares about. But I'm going to go with the Buccaneers, because why not? Redskins, Rams. The Rams put up 46 points against the Colts. 46 points. You know, but the Redskins, I don't see them loot going 0-2. But... For some reason, my gut tells me I should pick the Rams. But I'm just going to ignore it. 49ers, Seahawks. This one's easy. Seahawks. The Sunday night game. Packers, Falcons. I don't trust the Falcons this year. I really don't. But I'm going to go with them just because... I'm pretty sure they'll have a better game this week. And finally, Lions-Giants. Um, so I know that you're going to think I'm biased, but I'm going to go with the Lions. And I'm, and I'm not biased. I mean, look who I picked right there. Right there. Yeah, I picked that team. Um... But yeah, I just feel like the Lions, they played a great game against the Cardinals. And if that Giants defense continues to play the way it did against Dallas, 
Detroit's winning this game. And there you have it. Week 2 predicted. Um, I hope I do better this week because... 9-6 and six isn't a bad record, but I definitely don't want to stay there all season, so 16-0. and 0. Let's, let's, let's hope for it. Anyway, I will see you all next time, and I am sorry for the big gap in videos lately. Like, I've only been able to upload once a week, but school is just a pain. But anyway, I'll try to make videos when I can, um... Leave in the comments your predictions, and I will see you in the next video. How about them cowboys?